Today we're going to talk about recoil management. Hey guys, Jared with Tier 1 Concealed. We are going to do the much asked for video on recoil management. Today we're gonna to use a Agency Arms Done Up Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 five inch. So non-comped, non-ported. But before we get into actually talking about this, there's a few things that I wanna go over first, which is you have to remember that everyone is built differently. We come in all different shapes and sizes and our ability to control energy you know this gun is going to have the same amount of energy uh, regardless of your size right so your ability to control that is going to be completely different and what i do won't work for everybody as i get into this a lot of this is going to sound really familiar to you first i grip high and tight i'm mashing the webbing of my hand so you don't want to see any daylight between here i don't even want to just kind of be gently up under it I get up there into the back strap as high and tight as I can. And these fingers are wrapping around and upward if you can. I've got an upward cant because I'm really trying to compress this. I also leave this whole side open for my support hand where I will come in and I will ride my thumb from the tip of my thumb to the base of my palm all the way along the frame. And it's also going down. This part of my hand is filling in all of this empty space. I'm also compressing with my fingers here around my other fingers and mashing everything together. It's like a big sloppy mess around the gun. So once you establish this, I also cam this wrist forward because I want the recoil to happen in my elbows mostly, not in my wrists. So as I present the gun outward, I have a slight bend in my elbows. I'm not locking my elbows out. They're slightly bent so that I can have recoil big shot you know big shocks are better than little shocks right 